Hey guys, what's up? This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. Hope you all are doing great. Welcome to today's session. So this is our second session on a letter to God. Yes. So in this session, we are going to discuss with some of the important questions that is going to come in your board exam. Uh, and we are going to, I'm going to give you some tips on how to write the answers, how to frame your answers in your board exam. See, I'm not going to give you the entire, you know, answer kind of a thing. But of course, I'll help you, I'll guide you in such a way that you are, uh, you will be able to frame your own answers because, you know, framing your own answer is the most important step in literature when it comes to literature. So, of course, I'm going to give you the points uh, based on which you can, of course, refer to these points and these points should act as a guideline on the basis of which you will come up with your unique answer. So, if you create your own unique answer, that will stand out from the rest and that will be, you know, that will be, uh, that will create an impression on the examiner because the examiners will be, uh, you know, they will get monotonous, they will get bored. They will face monotony, the monotony of, uh, you know, checking the answers in bulk. And if you all have the same answers written from some or the other guidebooks or reference books, then it creates, you know, a little bad impression on your part, on the uh, bad impression of you on the part of the examiner, right? So please do not do so. Try to frame your own answers and how you're going to do that. I'm going to help you out. Don't worry. So let us begin with today's session of letter to God. Uh, in the previous session, I have already explained the moral of the lesson, the theme of the lesson and the various other features uh, and the various critical angles from which we need to look at the lesson. So in this session, we are going to discuss what are the probable questions that can come and how to, uh, the approach to answer these questions. So we look at those approaches. So let's start. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you again for, you know, showing your love, support. Please keep supporting us in the same way. And it's because of your support that Vedantu 9th and 10th is now a family of 5 lakh young minds. So that's great. So let's begin with the chapter, A Letter to God, the amazing chapter, A Letter to God. So guys, if you have still not downloaded this app, what are you waiting for? Just hurry up and download this app and get access to free live classes from grade 1 to grade 12 from the safety of your home. So let's start off with our questions. Now, the first question that can come is, who does Lencho have complete faith in? And which sentences in the story tell you this? Right? So, very easy for this, for answering this question, you need to go back to your NCRT book. Go back to the lesson, A Letter to God. Read it line by line. Okay? So, this is a very important step. Please do not read only the summary and then go to the, uh, uh, go for the examination. That is very wrong. Please read the chapter line by line. Okay, and try to analyze every line, right? So the answer is always in the textbook, okay? And you need to look at the text from various angles. I have already told you, give, given you the possible angles in my previous session, right? Uh, the angles from which you need to look at the text. So yes, the first one is, but in the hearts of all, that is a sentence from your book. So please find out this sentence beginning from uh, uh, this line. And uh, where he, the author talks about Len Cho having hope in God. Single hope in God. So in the hearts of all those who stayed in that family, that means Len Cho's family, they completely had, uh, they had complete faith in God. So try to find out this sentence from your textbook. The next sentence is, all through the night, Lencho thought that when Hailstorm destroyed all his crops, what was his reaction? He started thinking, right? He started, he thought all through the night he was in a devastated situation and he started thinking and he thought and he uh, came out with the conclusion that God could never uh, be so, you know, 
god could never let anyone uh, go hungry right anyone die of hunger so he is kind he is benevolent he cannot be so cruel as to uh, force people to die of hunger and all night he thought about this that god uh, god is omnipotent god is omnipresent and god can even listen to everyone uh, listen to one, whatever even we uh, what we think in our deep conscience right deep conscience as in whatever we think deeper in our hearts even those prayers are heard by god right so then uh, third sentence is when he writes a letter to god so of course his writing of the letter to god that again shows his deep trust in god and deep faith in god and his unusual you know feature of trusting god having ardent faith in god because which is not found in common persons like you and me we would not be writing a letter to god right so uh, he wrote to god on the envelope so he addressed the letter to god which again shows his ardent faith and trust in god god could not have made a mistake then when he asked for 100 pesos he demanded a uh, god for giving him 100 pesos and then when he posted the letter he again uh, you know he was waiting for his reply he went off to the post office early right earlier than usual because he knew that god would answer so such was the faith of lencho in god and when he opened the letter he was completely angry right why was he angry because again he had faith on god so having faith on god he expected from god so expectation and unfulfillment of expectation that led to his anger right so why was his so his expectation of getting 100 pesos was not fulfilled since he only received 70 pesos so he thought that god could never make this mistake how can god make this mistake god who is uh, omnipresent omni uh, potent and can even listen to uh, one's prayers uh, which he you know uh, which he speaks even in his own conscience which he keeps uh, in his own uh, deep conscience he can even listen to that so such a powerful god how can he make this mistake right so uh, then again he wrote a second letter so his writing of second letter again shows his deep trust in god saying that i need the rest 30 pesos immediately so that is again showing his belief in god now these are the probable sentences which you can include from your textbook and frame your answers accordingly why does the postmaster send money to lencho why does he sign the letter god very very important so why is now uh, let us focus on the character of postmaster we have already did uh, uh, we have already focused on the character of postmaster in our previous class as well so again let us highlight his features so the postmaster was actually moved by lencho's complete faith in god therefore he wanted to help this person and he did not want to shake lencho's faith he wanted to uh, he wanted lencho to believe that the letter actually came from god thereby retaining his unquestioning faith on god so that is why he signed in the name of god so that lencho would think that the letter actually came from god thereby his faith being retained next question Did Lencho try to find out who had sent the money to him? Why or why not? We know that Lencho never tried to find out that who has actually sent the money. Why? Why did he not try to find out? Because he had great confidence in God and he never suspected that it could be anyone else other than God sending him money. Because he had asked God to send him money. and he believed that god is omnipotent omnipresent he could hear everyone he could see everyone therefore he would uh, you know he would definitely certainly respond to his letter and also providing him the required help so his potent faith in god had no room for any suspicion his faith in god was so potent potent as in so strong that that 
uh, it had absolutely no space for any suspicion. So this is very important. So you need to include these points. Just keep in mind these points. You will definitely be able to frame your own sentences. Next question. Who does Lencho think has taken the rest of the money? What is the irony of the situation? So I spoke about the irony in my previous lesson as well at the end of the lesson, right? So I told you that irony is the, uh, you know, a situation, one situation and it's unexpected aspect, right? That means when whatever you expect, actually the opposite happens. That leads to the irony of the situation. Lencho thinks the post office employees have taken the money, right? The post office employees, who are these people? They are the same people who actually gave them, gave Lencho money, who helped Lencho with money. And these people, they were expecting like uh, the postmaster was actually expecting when he uh, saw the letter, second letter from Lencho, he thought he, he expected uh, that it would be a vote of thanks or uh, an expression of gratitude. But what was the expect was the expectation fulfilled? No. Because in the letter, Lencho mentioned that these people are cheats. So God, please do send me the rest 30 rupees, uh, 30 pesos, but not through mail, not through the post, but directly because I suspect that these people are cheats and they have taken the rest of the money that is implied that is not actually mentioned but that is implied but yes Lencho does call the people the post office employees as group so these people who helped in retaining his faith in the almighty are actually called cheaters cheats by Lencho and that is the irony of the situation Next question. I hope these questions are becoming clear and how to uh, approach these questions are also becoming clearer with the help of the guidelines that I have tried to give you. Next question is, are there people like Lencho in the real world? What kind of a person would you say Lencho is? You may select the appropriate. Okay, so this is a, you know, basically a question from your text only. So let us see what is the answer. Difficult to find people like Lencho in the real world. Yes, we usually do not find people having deep faith, such a faith in God. Of course, people, we find taste people. Yes, we all say that we believe in God. But to what extent? Do we believe in God to such an extent as to write a letter to God demanding something? No. So even though people are taste, they however lack the ardent faith so as to try to try a correspondence with God by writing a letter as Lencho did. So we would not be writing a letter like Lencho. So our faith in God is somehow restricted somewhere because at the back of the mind, there is a question on the existence of God. Whom to write this letter? Does God exist in reality? Will he listen to my request? So that is a question on the existence of God from our end, which Lencho did not have. So we can say that Lencho had childlike naivety and gullibility. As kids, as I told you in, our, in my previous session, my story, I shared with you my story about Santa Claus, that I really did believe that Santa Claus exists. So that was my childlike naivety because I was a kid at that time. As kids, we easily believe in fairy tales. We easily believe in uh, God or any kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, anything associated with divinity. Because children are closer to divinity. So that closeness was shared by Lencho as well. As children are closer to God and believe in divinity easily, so they believe in the existence of God easily, the same was found in Lencho. And he had an unquestioning faith on God. He never questioned the existence of God as we would do. 
even though we still claim that we are theists and we do believe in the existence of god but we would never write a letter to god as lencho did and would never post that letter actually so such was his seriousness even if we write a letter to god but we would believe that there is no need of posting this letter whom to post is there any address of god we would come up with all these questions so these questions were not asked by lencho that was because of his unquestioning faith there are two kinds of conflicts in the story one is between human and nature and between humans themselves how are these conflicts illustrated very important question from your ncert book destruction of lencho's crops by the hailstorm storm that was the human and nature conflict and many writers have actually shown such kind of human and nature conflict right so this is the age old conflict shown in many other stories by many writers i have already mentioned one writer to you j m singh in my previous class his riders to the sea show a similar kind of conflict between nature and uh, human right so if you can look at the summary of that play you would be able to understand what am i talking about right so uh, the postmaster with the help of his colleagues len sent lencho the money that they could manage so he uh, the postmaster uh, with the help of the uh, his colleagues he actually sent lencho the money that whatever money they could manage they sent him that money so it was an act of kindness and selflessness but even though they did this good deed what did lencho do he was ungrateful so this shows that man this man lencho though he had an ardent faith Uh, in god he actually did not have any trust on humanity so that rise that gives rise to the conflict between humans having no trust in humans so that was the conflict so basically you have to focus on two areas one is the portion where lencho's crops were destroyed i have not described the entire situation but you need to describe the entire situation how was the crop destroyed how first it rained and then the rain got converted into hailstorms and what was the effect of the hailstorm so basically when i'm talking about destruction of lencho's crops by the hailstorm you need to describe the entire incident as i am keep uh, as i keep telling you that i am only providing you the guidelines or the keywords you need to elaborate on it by yourselves and that is how it would be you know it would give you the confidence of framing your own answer and then be confident in your exam as well please do not be dependent on anyone else for your answers write your answers on your own you can do it you have the potential to do it it's just you are too much dependent on someone else please be independent when it comes to literature literature always motivates you to have your independent opinion independent thoughts so please pen down your own thoughts not someone else's thought okay it was an act of kindness yes that we discussed so the first half would you know a uh, cover hailstorm and uh, lencho's destruction of crops and the second half would cover the conflict between the postmaster and lencho moving on to the next question let us find out the metaphors from the story to complete the ta uh, the table below first of all let us discuss what are metaphors metaphors are comparisons now you will say ma'am similes are also comparisons so how can we distinguish between a metaphor and a simile similes are also comparison between two objects but similes use keywords like as and like as beautiful as a rose that is a simile her face was as, she was the girl was as beautiful as rose that is a simile the girl is a rose that is a metaphor in both the cases you are comparing the girl's beauty 
with the beauty of the rose in the first case you are using the keywords as or like she is as beautiful as rose as a rose using as or like therefore simile comparison again direct comparison second line second example she is a rose comparing again the girl's beauty with rose the comparison is implied implicit not direct no usage of words keywords like as or like so such metaphors are also found in this story let us see what are the metaphors first uh, first is cloud huge mountains of cloud which were i discussed in our previous session as well the mass of hugeness of mountains that means huge mountains compared to huge cloud again rain drops a curtain of rain the draping of the draping or covering of an area by a curtain curtain of rain a curtain of rain was enveloping something so rain drop covering the uh, crops compared to curtain right hailstones the frozen pearls the resemblance of the color and hardness of a pearl so the hailstones were hard they were white in color just as the pearls right so pearls compared to hailstones plague of locust the destruction caused by plague plague is an infestation locusts are what locusts are uh, you know insects which actually destroy the crops so the writer says that or lenjo says that this hailstorm had caused such a destruction that is even more than a destruction which would have been caused by a plague of locusts right so an epidemic that spreads very rapidly and leaves many people dead that is a plague an ex of a man sorry this will be ox not ex please uh, use the error the, an ox of a man means the working of an ox in the field that is hard working so man's hard work compared to the hard working ox therefore again metaphor Do you think the postmaster should have responded to Lencho's second letter too? Why or or why not? Again, you are free to give your come up with your own points. You can say why, uh, no, or you can also say yes. This is a sample answer which I tried to give you. Okay, where I said that yes, he should re, should have responded. to the second letter but you of course can say no as well this is totally open ended right that is the beauty of literature you can of course come up with your own thoughts but the fact is that you need to justify give justification for your answer be it why or be it no be it yes or be it no right so in my opinion the postmaster should have written one more letter to lencho telling lencho that he that is god does not have more money because he has helped other people so he also has limited resources he should say that the post office employees did not steal the money thereby helping lencho have the same faith in humanity as he had in god so he should actually say that no the post he thought that the post office employees had stolen the money so the postmaster tried to retain lencho's faith in god so in a similar fashion by the second letter he could have retained his faith on humanity as well by making him trust human beings by making him believe that it is not the postmasters who actually sorry the post office employees who actually stole his money in that way he could have retained lencho not uh, not retained he could have made uh, a lencho believe in humanity as well Moving on to the next question what would you have done if someone you helped would have been ungrateful to you like lencho had been to the post office employees again this is totally on you however you can write your answer right 
I have tried to give you one answer, but again, you are free to write your own answer. You can just have a look at this. I would still continue to help people in times of need for the sake of humanity. That is my personal opinion. God is not just an invisible entity. He is only present in each one of us. I would not be shaken by the ungratefulness of people like Lencho and would not stop helping others even if they do not reciprocate or even if they are ungrateful. So I, in my opinion, I, even if someone is ungrateful to me, that doesn't matter because I am not helping someone in expectation of a reciprocation from that person. So definitely I would not stop helping other people even if someone is being ungrateful. That is my personal opinion. You may have a different opinion. Next is Lencho had faith in God but lacked faith in humanity. Yes. So how? Lencho had unquestionable faith in God. That is why that is what made him write a letter asking for help in the face of all odds. He never tried to find out the actual sender of the money. Yes, he never sought any help from anyone else apart from God. Thought of communicating with God directly. He thought of what? To have a correspondence with God directly, which is quite unnatural and unusual. He blames the same people as having stolen his money who actually helped him and who acted as messengers of God. So that shows his lack of faith in humanity. So basically when you are asked about whether Lencho had uh, faith in God but uh, lacked faith in humanity, you have to first deal with uh, justifying how Lencho had faith in God and your next portion should come in how he lacked faith in humanity. So this question should have two divisions. One, how did he have faith in God? Need to justify that. Second, how did he lack faith in humanity? Need to justify that. I hope I am clear in this question. Next is, why did Lencho compare the raindrops? What did Lencho compare the raindrops to and why? The crops needed rain showed a good sign of harvest and good a good harvest leads to what prosperity lencho needed money in order to uh, make his both ends meet in order to feed his family and good harvest would definitely ensure prosperity so therefore he compared to uh, the raindrops to what he compared the raindrops to new coins Right? So that is what you have to write. First of all, oh, I missed one point is he uh, compared the new, sorry, raindrops to new coins. You need to mention that first. I missed out over here. So please mention that first and then say why. So first line should be Lencho compared the raindrops to new coins. The bigger ones, the bigger drops to 10 cent pieces and the smaller ones to 5 cents. So that you need to write in the first line and then you say why, then you justify why. I have given the answer to why, please include the answer to what as well. I hope I am not confusing you. Okay. So do you think that Lencho was right to call the post office employees a bunch of crooks? Do you think? Was, uh, was he right? He did not get the full money. He could not believe God could make a mistake. So first of all, you need to say that, uh, you need to, uh, uh, you know, uh, address the fact that Lencho actually called the post office employees a bunch of groups. And why did he call the uh, uh, post office employees a bunch of groups? So first section should cover why was uh, Lencho calling the post office employees a bunch of crooks? That is first. And then is, is he justified in calling them a bunch of crooks? Right? So he did not get the full money. He could not believe that God could make a mistake because he had undoubted faith in God. But he had no trust in, no faith in humanity. 
so definitely he doubted the post office people and he never tried to actually find out that who sent him that money okay so i think that he was not right to call the post office employees a bunch of crooks because they are the same persons who actually helped him although he did not know although he did not know that who helped him but he should have some faith in humanity as well so he was lacking this faith right so how did the hailstones affect lencho's field and what was lencho's only hope so first of all you need to say that Lencho was a hard working farmer whose uh, entire survival depends on good harvest he completely depended on nature he needed rain for good harvest but to his dismay what happened to his dismay the rainfall which was so long a prom so long promising a good harvest turned into a hailstorm destroying his crops then what was the destruction caused by the hailstorm it covered the entire valley the house the garden hillside corn field everything lencho was devastated however he had now the second part comes in what was lencho's only hope lencho's only hope was in god the almighty he had ardent belief in god he decided to seek help from god what did he do as a consequence he wrote a letter to next is humanity still exists this is what we get to know after reading a letter to god in which the firm faith in god of a poor farmer and helpfulness of the post office employees are aptly depicted throughout are aptly depicted yeah so write a paragraph on the values so you basically have to write a paragraph on the values right so what you need to focus on here is humanity still exists this is what we learn from the lesson post uh, here this one a letter to god so on that you need to write a paragraph so first you need to say that yes humanity is existing still and this this can be found by reading the entire story this story stirs our faith it makes our faith strong there are people faith in whom faith in humanity right and god as well so two faith faith on humanity as well as faith on god there are still people who help others the post office employee is an example they laughed yes initially the post office employee also laughed the postmaster laughed the postman who delivered the le uh, letter to postmaster he laughed but the postman uh, the postmaster after laughing he immediately became serious and he was stirred by the moved by the faith of lencho and he even tried to imbibe that faith within himself right and in order to retain lencho's faith he did everything that was possible from his end the way they helped lencho that restores the faith in humanity and that also motivates us to be kind so that is what we think after reading the entire chapter yes humanity still exists and there are people who actually act as messengers of god there are people who actually help us in times of need and they are nothing less than god so yes god helps us god is there god is present in each one of us and he is really omnipresent helping us out in difficult situation by sending his messengers in human form like here the postmaster next describe lencho's quality in the light of his faith in god do you have faith in god like lencho was lencho's reaction towards the post office people right lencho was a poor farmer completely depended on harvest and he becomes therefore the perfect example of those poor people who depends on the mercy of nature for their survival so mother nature when she's furious she sends rainfall and then 
rainfall converted into hail storm so that is the example of mother nature's fury so that again reminds us with a real that reminds me of a real occurrence just right now in our area mother nature's fury super cyclone everything got disrupted and i hope people from the eastern region the students who are uh, from kolkata or from west bengal or eastern region orissa assam this side i hope you all are safe because here the condition is extremely critical net internet got disrupted i really don't know how am i going to take my classes this is the i don't know all the net connections are gone uh, mobile networks not working except for the jio net so please bear with me even if this video i don't know this i am recording so uh, hopefully it will come to you reach you somehow managing okay because i have thankfully jio network so thankfully but wifi connection gone everything gone and trees uprooted so mother nature has shown her fury on us hope all of you are great all of you are keeping well and safe okay so moving back to this one devastated when crops destroyed believed god would help him had ardent unquestioning faith on god however lacked faith in humanity what does he have he has a child like naivety which i already discussed in the question before he was too innocent to find out who actually sent him the money right though his reaction to the post of his employers cannot be justified uh, em not employers employees employees please bear with me for some time this will be employees okay cannot be justified we should also try to empathize with such poor people like lencho who was completely shattered by the destruction caused by the hail storm so currently i am feeling like lencho right now just like lencho was depended on uh, you know on the nature for his survival i am also depended on the internet connection for teaching you all so currently with internet connection going haywire i am also feeling just like lencho so i can empathize with him completely so yes he his reaction could not be justified because he said that the uh, people the post office um, uh, you know post office employees they are a bunch of crooks without actually getting ample proof that they have stolen their money he had easily blamed uh, blamed them so that was not justified from his end but again on the other hand we should also consider the mental situation and the trauma that lencho was facing because everything got destroyed so yes we should also have some kind of empathizing uh, empathy with him sympathy with him right next is give a character sketch of lencho first of all simple and hard working man ox of a man yes so as the uh author says that lencho was ox of a man he was completely dependent on nature worried about his family okay but he was an optimistic person even in such a devastating con condition he said that god is there and he will help us he never lets anyone go uh you know uh, sleep hungry die of hunger right so he was confident that god is going to help so he was what he was a naive taste taste is who a person who believes in god but he was also naive naive is gullible who trusts people who trusts others easily who have a blind trust on people theek okay? hai could not trust that god is not an in uh, could not understand that god is not an invisible entity to be sought for but uh, by but makes his presence felt in mysterious ways by sending messengers in human form like the postmaster so he has no trust in humanity so he sends god uh, you know acts in mysterious ways if you have seen uh, that uh, movie which was that movie oh my god omg if you have seen that movie that was a wonderful movie performed by uh, abish you know akshay kumar yes so that also spoke about the existence of god right whether god exists or not 
that can be easily relatable to this chapter so oh my god movie if you have not watched please do watch it it's an amazing movie and very thought provoking yes questioning the existence of god and yes showing us the difference between superstitious beliefs and belief in real belief in god right so god is not an invisible entity to be sought for sought after but he makes his presence nevertheless he makes his presence makes his presence felt in human by sending messengers in human form like the postmaster so he has no trust in humanity so all these points that i have given of course you need to elaborate on these points taking instances from the lesson right i am sure i am certain that you would be able to do that next is character sketch of the postmaster he was a fat and amiable person he was a sensible human being so again you have to give example why was he sensible human being why because initially though he laughed at the letter which was sent to him which was addressed to god like any other normal uh, human being would have done right but he was surprised immediately after that he was surprised by the faith of uh, lencho his being moved by the faith of lencho and trying to imbibe the faith of lencho in him made him different from the postman who simply made fun of lencho's faith like any normal human being would definitely would have done the same thing but this character comes out as a serious character he did not want to shake lencho's faith right he gave us a part uh, he gave his part of a part of his salary and also asked help from his colleagues he felt happy he felt contented to help someone in need so this happiness this contentment by helping someone speaks a lot about his generosity right so he was a kind and empathetic person and he loved to help others so in in the previous session we also gave an example of mother teresa right who helped others and who found happiness by helping others and without thinking of anything in return so that was all from my end but i have a question for you as well my question for you is have you ever been in great difficulty and felt that only a miracle could help you and how was that problem solved yes this is from your ncrt book but i want you to please try and frame out this answer and you can of course comment the same in the comment section please come up with your innovative answers i would love to see how you have learned to frame your own answers i hope i am successful enough at least 70 to 80% successful to motivate you to write your own answers come up with unique ideas and frame your answers in your own unique way so let me see how you frame your answers in your own unique way please comment in the comment section by answering this question i would love to hear it from all of you so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, i hope that you would shower your love and support like you have always been doing thank you so much see you take care bye bye